Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about OPC UA server authentication method. So till now we have been using OPC UA protocol without any security option. I've been getting a lot of requests on how we can set the username and password security while connecting to the OPC UA server. So basically we are using free OPC UA library which is a python package and uh, as of now this library do not support any username and password option but obviously we can create our own methods to add a security layer in our protocol so in this video we will write we will write opc server code where, where we will set a username and a password and then we will write a client code which will pass this username and password to server and if it is correct then only the client will be able to connect to the server and will be able to access its address space so before starting let's discuss the generic way generic way which we have been using for opc ua protocol so in our generic opc ua protocol what used to happen is that we have a server machine um, this server machine can run windows linux or mac os in it so let's say we have installed python and we have installed uh, the free opc ua library and we have like pretty much created our address space added uh, object nodes root nodes parameters and all the variables which we want so our server has been initialized let's say there is a client client has also installed everything installed free opc library and everything and now this client wants to access the server so client will simply uh, make a connection to the server server will accept this connection and then will return all the data to the client so in this way this keeps on happening and then the client every time client makes a call to the server and server returns the values to the client so this was our generic opc ua protocol but let's say client say server says that okay i cannot accept the anonymous connections from the client so i will put a security layer uh, before accessing the server so this time what happens is that server server is initialized server has the opc ua address space and server and we have the client also now server because this time server wants to add a security layer so server created a security layer where it added the username and the password option which means that every client collection connection needs need to pass through this uh, this security layer and it needs to give the correct username and password if there is no username and password then the client will not be authenticated so in the same way we also have a in the same way we also set up a security uh, option for the client this security option contains the username and the password now the client makes a call to the um, the server security layer of the server it receives the username and password if that username and password is correct then server will return all the data back to the client and this will keep on happening let's say if the username and password of the client is not correct and is not matching with what server has created then this will simply break the connection and client will not be able to access the server or the server's address space so this is our typical architecture which we will be performing in this video let's get back to our coding so what we will do is that i will have i'll have a two uh, windows machine i will make one of them as the server and another one as a client so we will write a server code and we will write a client code on client machine so as a starting point we will simply write a server and a client code and then we will try to make a connection between both of them after that we will add a we will write another python script which will be our security script and we will basically write the we will basically add a username and password on the server and then we will modify the client code as well which will make a call to the server and if it is authenticated then only client will be able to access the server address space so let's start our coding part this is my server machine and i have created a new project opc server i am using pycharm to write my python script but if you if you don't have pycharm you can use eclipse or any other python um, ide you want so in this server machine as a starting point we will write a server code on the client machine we will write a client code and then we will simply test a basic connection between both of them if the connection is working then in the second option in the second part we will add a security layer to both of the codes and then we will see how this performs so let's start with our server code and let's quickly write it um, because i have previously explained the server code 
So I'm not going to explain the server code in detail and we are simply going to add one parameter to our um, server address space, which will be the temperature. So I'll start by importing the OPC UA package. I will also import time. I will also import random. Okay. Now I will create the server. After this, I will uh, add a variable for the URL. So the the lab the my server machine has an IP address of 102. So I will make the URL as opc.tcp 192.168.0.102. Now I will add the server at the endpoint, which is my URL. I will name my OPC UA uh, server as OPC UA simulation server. I will add an address space. I will create a node. Now I will add a parameter which will be, uh, I, I, I mean, I'll name it as parameters. Okay, so I've added a parameters inside my address space. Now let's uh, create a parameter which will be our temperature. This will be added inside our address space and we will name it as temperature. Starting value will be zero. Temperature dot set writable so that this can be writable. Now I will start my server. Server is started now. I'll simply print a message here. Server started at URL. Now inside my while loop, I will simply take a variable as temperature. I will init I will uh, create a random values between 10 to 50 and I will make dot set value and temperature. And here I will add a delay of one second. So this is my server code and uh, we have simply created a server on this particular URL and we have added a temperature variable uh, and we are initializing the temperature values, uh, random values between 10 to 50 and then we are simply setting the values. So this will keep on going and going. Now let me run this code to see if there are any errors or not. So as you can see, it says that listening on 192 and a server is started at this particular. So server has started. Now let's go to our client machine and write a client code there. This is my client machine where I will be doing all my client related code. Um, so let's start by importing the OPC UA package. And we'll also import time. Now here we will create a uh, variable for the URL. So the URL will be the same as our uh, client, uh, server code. So opc.tcp 192.168.0.102.4841. 
now I will simply create a client and I will add the URL and I'll simply mention client dot connect now once this is connected I'll simply create a while loop and I will create a temperature variable client dot get node and I will mention the node ID of my temperature uh, parameter which I have added in the server code if you don't know how to get the node ID you can refer to my previous videos where I have explained uh, the UI software through which you can uh, get the node IDs this time I know so I have just simply written this and temperature value get value here I will simply print the value so I'll mention here temperature is temperature value and I will add a delay of one second so my client code is also complete I will run this code and because our server is already running so we'll see if it's, if it's able to connect to the server or not so let's run this code and you can see that we have started getting the temperature values directly from the server so which means that our server generic ser client server code is running perfectly fine so now let me stop this and let's get back to our server code server machine where we will write the python script for the security option